Hi, my name is Natasha Kalsadi from Sammy's Photo School and today I'd like to share a tip with you how to paint in a mask very quickly and efficiently. Sometimes we have a larger area in our images that we need to fill with a mask. Let me show you a quick tip how to do this very quickly and efficiently. Here's another quick tip uh, in Capture One, how to create a quick mask. So first thing I'm going to do is just uh, go into my layers and add another layer and let's just call it waterfall. And I'm going to press on the letter B as in boy to get to my brush. Now I could have also clicked on the brush here, but that's just a quick way. I'm also going to press on the letter M for mask. So that way I can see where I'm going to paint. And I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger by holding the control and option key, clicking and making my brush a little bit bigger. I'm actually going to make it a little bit bigger than I normally would just so you guys can see it. And what I'm going to do here is literally just outline this waterfall. And I don't have to do it all that accurately either because I will be able to modify it very quickly. So here I go and drew it out like so. So instead of filling in all this uh, mask, uh, what I can do is click on the little three dots and choose fill mask. And there's my filled mask very quickly. Now we can see that I missed a few spots. Well, I can also right click again and maybe reduce my flow a little bit. So that way I can do this very slowly and gently and kind of paint in a little bit more because there's a lot of kind of water haze there and I can paint that in. And better yet, another tip here, what I can do is again, click on the little dot, dot, dot and choose to refine my mask. And when I refine my mask, now you can play around with the radius, but I'll just leave it at about 68 or so. Click apply. And I don't know if you noticed, but on your machine, you probably will see that the edges are much smoother and they transition much smoother into the other color. So now I'm gonna press on the letter M again I have my waterfall isolated and I will go into possibly maybe my brightness slider and just darken it up a little bit. You see, I can just darken up my brightness a little bit and I can bring in my highlight dynamic range. I'm gonna overdo it a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit better, but I'm getting a whole lot of detail there. And maybe I will add just a little bit cooler tone to that water so it looks bluer. Obviously not this blue, but I could just make it a little bit bluer. And now I see that that looks a little bit artificial here. So I'm still in my brush tool, but if I click on the eraser tool or better yet press on the letter E I will get the eraser tool I will right click to modify my flow because I want a really low flow and then I could just erase this effect just to where the water kind of steams up a little bit and make it look flawless and that is your quick tip on how to use the mask very quickly Hey guys, I hope this tip will save you some time in the future. And if you're new to Capture One, check out my online classes at the link down below. While you're down there, also give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, leave us a comment, let us know what kind of tutorials you would like to see in the future. And once again, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.